Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you six Slytherin themed outfit ideas. A few weeks ago I did a Gryffindor themed lookbook and you guys seemed to really like that and I had a lot of fun making it too so I thought Slytherin was next because I already had the materials to make the robes. So it took my mom and I about a week to make these robes. They are going to be up for sale on my Etsy shop very very soon. So you can see in the hood they have this overlay it's um, like a silver and black lace over green which I really like that's one of my favorite things about the robes that we make is the overlay in the hood because it's so unique of course it has a wand pocket let me demonstrate wand pocket to carry your wand around which I think is really fun too under this I'm wearing a white polo Slytherin tie and a little mini skirt. I'm also wearing some combat boots. I feel like that's a very Slytherin-y. Let's start with outfit number one. Here is outfit number one. I think this one would be really nice to wear. You could wear it under your robes, I guess, but you could also wear it, I guess, just to any class that didn't require you to wear your robes or to dinner or something, or if you're going to study, like really just any around the castle, still school, but you don't exactly have to be wearing your robes. I think this outfit is super cute and I wanted to make it separate from robes because I wanted to show it by itself. I don't think it needs robes with it exactly. So I'm wearing this like mini dress. It's really stretchy and comfortable and flowy. Um, I'm pretty sure the bottom of it is actually like a square so it's kind of like an interesting shape. But um, I got it thrifted. I don't know what brand it is. Then I have this white polo shirt that I've thrifted and this leather and tie. I'm also wearing Converse. Um, I think this outfit is just super like casual but still school appropriate. It's just super comfortable. I could definitely see myself wearing this if I were at Hogwarts. So outfit number one. Here is outfit number two. This one I think would be great to wear just like around the common room, around the grounds. Maybe like on the weekend or you could wear it to a Quidditch game. Just something pretty chill but still in the house colors. I'm wearing this polo that I thrifted but it's actually from Calvin Klein. It's got these stripes on the collar that are white, blue, and green so it kind of goes along with Slytherin. Um, I'm also wearing this sweatshirt, just like a plain white and grayish sweatshirt tied around me. I feel like if you got cold, you could wear this. I'm also wearing these jean shorts that are from American Eagle, I believe. I'm pretty sure I thrifted them though. And just white Converse. I feel like this would just be perfect for like kicking around on the weekend or around the common room. Just something pretty chill but still cute and pretty classy but still like on the summer end I guess this could be good for fall or spring probably probably not winter because you know you might get a little cold unless you were staying inside so yeah outfit number two here's outfit number three I think this one's one of my favorites it's just super like whimsical but still I feel like it's Slytherin-y because of the darker colors in it um, I feel like I would definitely wear this one like regularly I might Although some of these pieces are borrowed, um, this undershirt is my dad's and this Weasley's Wizard Wheezes shirt is my brother's, so maybe I can't wear this outfit. Um, but the skirt is, actually I don't know where the skirt is from, but it is definitely mine, not theirs. And I'm wearing white Converse with this. I just feel like, I don't know, this is such a cute outfit, but like dark and cute at the same time. I don't know how to explain that. I don't really know where you could wear this outfit. Maybe if you were going to Diagon Alley to get your school supplies or just like over the summer, something like that. I don't know if it's really like a school outfit because it's not super house themed. Although you could probably wear it to Hogsmeade or something. So I love this outfit. It's just so like different but still cool. I really love how the collar pops out over the shirt and this shirt is just so cute so I feel like I'll probably be stealing these again from my brother and dad because just look at this outfit. So cute. Alright this is outfit three. Here is outfit number four. This is the one that I'm least confident in although I wanted to include it because I thought it would be good for like 
going on the train to get to Hogwarts. I think this is a good traveling outfit. It's still like Slytherin themed, but it's more like comfy and on the casual side. So I'm wearing this jean jacket from Costco and this green and white striped tank top from um, Urban Outfitters and a skirt that I made out of a thrifted polo shirt. I made a whole video about that if you want to see how I made one giant like extra extra large shirt into a shirt and top set. I really love this set but I just don't think it's right for this vibe. Um, I think it's better when you split them up. So um, I'm also wearing white Converse because I think Converse are great for traveling also because they're still sneakers but they're like stylish at the same time. So yeah, this is outfit number four. I feel like this next one had to be included in this video. It just screams Slytherin to me. So I'm wearing this dress that I thrifted and this blazer that I also thrifted and then black Burks because I don't really have any fancy shoes. So this is like super businessy but like still Slytherin because it's like black and sparkly. It just gives me those like vibes. I don't know how to explain it. But this is such a Slytherin outfit, I don't know. It's like really powerful, but still like, look at me. <laughs> I really don't know how to explain this, but I love this outfit. Um, this dress is just so cute and I don't get any reasons to wear it, so this is a great one. Also, I love wearing blazers and again, have no reason to wear them. But um, of course this would go better with some fancier shoes, but I just want to show this outfit off. I love it so much. I'm going to take off the blazer again to show you the back of the dress. It's like this cutout and I just think it's so cute. This is definitely one of my favorite outfits. I mean, I love all the outfits in this video to be honest. I believe this is outfit number five. So this is outfit number six and I'm, I'm obsessed with it. I'm definitely going to wear this again someday in my regular life. I just, it's, I feel so powerful. I'm wearing this long sleeve, high neckline, stretchy black crop top from Primark, and this tank top from Forever 21. These jeans that I thrifted, I'm pretty sure they're Gap. They're like high waisted. They're super comfortable. I just haven't had a chance to wear them yet. I'm kind of afraid that I'll like spill something on them, so maybe that's why I haven't worn them yet. And also black Converse. This outfit is just so like, Put together but it's still casual at the same time I don't even know how to describe it but I just feel so good <laughs> I can't wait to wear this again so yeah outfit number six um, I wanted to save this one for last because I was very excited about it but to be honest the other ones turned out pretty well too so I'm not exactly sure which is my favorite favorite but um they were all really fun to make. This lookbook definitely took a lot more work than the Gryffindor one because I have a lot of Gryffindor clothes already because I am Gryffindor, but I'm not a Slytherin, so I had to do a lot more thinking and putting together and stealing from other people's closets. But I think it did turn out okay, so now I need to go return those pieces. So yeah, let me know what you think of these outfits I came up with. And if you want me to do like another Slytherin one or another Gryffindor one, or I could probably, once we make robes, I could do a Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff one also if you guys want that. So just let me know, or if you have any other like Harry Potter themed video ideas or fashion themed or just whatever you guys want to see on my channel, I would love to hear your suggestions. So yeah, um, I had so much fun with this again. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts where you can find those Slytherin robes and the Gryffindor robes from the last video. And check out my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!